Okay, so today I went to Ulta. And I am going to simply say, everybody that works in cosmetics, Sephora, MAC, Ulta, I've worked at Ulta twice. Um, you really got to be nice to people because it can affect them. Um, I ended up taking back three items. Yeah, three, not two. Three items. And it was hectic today. I didn't even get to go to TJ Maxx. Um, and I stayed on my side of town. And I don't quite like going to the Ulta um, down the road from my house. Um, but I went today because I was trying to get the kids stuff and which I only got a few things to get and then we're done with school shopping. Thank God. Um, but I know Alme had their stuff and on my receipt, I think it was 429. Yep. 429. Um, and when I talked to the Ulta manager yesterday at the one I do have to shop far away at, um, which is probably about, it's not far away, about 20 minutes away from my place where I live at, um, they said that they're going to discontinue that. And I also got the Photo Ready Concealer. Let's see who that's by, because I'm, I'm not sure who it's by. It's by Revlon. And then I ended up paying um, $9 for a lipstick that was Revlon that said $249 on it. Anybody that knows me, yes, I buy cheap makeup when I can't afford the expensive makeup. Um, and if I'm on a budget, that's what I'm going to buy. And there's nothing absolutely wrong with that. And then I got this. I put it on my lips. I don't like the way it feels. It's a um it's by Revlon. This was $249. Um it was Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. It smells amazing. It um it smells like a cherry pie. Maybe like a cream. It's creamy smelling. It smells really good. Um but anyways, I got this. And I don't quite like the way it feels on my lips. And it's a nude color. And I love lipstick that pops. And that's what I bought with the Revlon. Um, but I got really upset though because I bought mask. And um, the girl was just nasty at the cash register. Please be nice and keep it in mind that, you know, just because you're having a bad day, don't take it out on somebody else. Because that really wrecks my, my nerves. Um, but anyways, That's I, <laughs> here's the thing with Ulta, because I have worked there, and I am not shaming Ulta at all, but as a clean person, the last thing you want to do is test stuff that's not in the prestige area, or even if you go in a prestige area, you better be careful because you don't know what that person has on their skin and you, you just, ew, yeah. So I made Haley guess because these were only $4.29 or $4.40. I've got to go look at my receipt, but um, I should have it right here, but I didn't. Um, but anyways, um, this one, she just picked a color. It's 160 sand beige, so we're fixing to test it on her face. Um, and this one on this I got is the 110 Ivory. It's a lighter color, but I used the powder, so I'm fine. And also why, um, we shopped at Ross. I got this from Ross. It was $3.99 today. You really can't beat that. And I love buying these. I haven't had no makeup wipes for a while. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so I've been washing my face with ivory soap, cleaning it with the black soap as well after the ivory soap. And yes, it dries out my skin. So I do a lot of moisturizers and stuff like that with the palms and stuff like that. But anyways, um, these takeaway makeup, it's excellent. It's like, even if you want to put it on your face right now, it, it cleans your face really good. I love them. And they're, I believe they're the color, let's go ahead. 
I think they're black, actually. I'm not sure what color they are, but um, I really like them. But I can't. Let me see. I got scissors right here from last night. I hope y'all liked that tutorial last night too. Um, thank you. Open them like this. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are white. The ones I got from Marshalls was black, but inside is white. But um, I'm excited to use wipes to get makeup off my face. And it was a two-pack for $3.99. And I'm not going to use this in one night. And um, But anyways, we're going to test her on and see if this is her color. Because it's got a sponge, too, on it. So that's pretty cool. So come here. Oh, right here. Can you see it? Mm, try. Okay, and then it just squirts out like that. And if you want to use a sponge instead of using that one, you can. Yeah, you want to use yep. it? Okay. So, let's turn that light off to see. Now I'm blind. Let's turn it back on. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't put no primer on her face because I'm just checking it to see if it does match. It's... Don't. Yeah, okay. Her eyes been bothering her. So, that's one side. I did one side. You can't really tell. You can't really tell. Here, let's see if we can tell like this. Yeah, you can tell. It does match your face. Okay, well, I did good. You did good. She picked her, her skin color out and didn't touch the sampler because that's, ugh. I was like, we're just going to buy it and see what happens. Um, and then if you want to do that, I say you don't do it. And this is why. Because bacteria loves bacteria. And if you just want to continue to use the sponge, that's what I would use. And, I don't know. I just, I don't, I like clean sponges and stuff and brushes. There's that. Is that one yours or oh, this yeah. one's yours? You see, but it matches. Yeah. It makes your face pop like glam. Does it feel moisturized? And I don't know if this is full coverage or not. I'm yeah, gonna... I didn't check. I'm not sure, but I you can find my eyebrows. Ooh. And see, even this, instead of doing it from the sponge, you can do that as well. All right. But I'm going to do it through the sponge. And this one is mine, and it's 110 Ivory. I can tell y'all if it's full coverage or not because I have my skin used to not break out but it breaks out now and I guess the older you get it breaks out which I need some more black soap and I'm going to try to go tomorrow to TJ Maxx because I really wanted them lashes they're probably gone it's okay hmm I'm going to say this is medium coverage. It's not full coverage. And for people who like the um, medium coverage, go get it. Um, and let's see.
Yeah. So, something happened to the dog. Um, so you can see, it's medium coverage. I really like it though. Like, it's not that bad. Like, for four, $4? I mean, in Alme, um, I know a lot about makeup because I worked at Ulta. But Alme, if you're um, hypergenic, like allergic to a lot of um, foundations and stuff, this has no scent. Like me. Um, yeah, like my daughter. She's allergic to everything she puts on her face. That's why she don't really wear a lot of makeup sometimes. But And she's got to be careful because she'll go and blotch land. Um, but this is amazing. Alme products. Alme eyeshadow. Alme mascara. They had the mascara on sale. I started to grab it. If I go to the nicer one, um, the, the nice people Ulta one, um, I will go check and see if they still have that. Because oh, they are so nice. Um, and then, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, God, y'all. Y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Haley just trimmed her eyebrow <laughs> and cut half of it off. You got to show everybody. You got to show everybody. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Mama, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Get the brow pencil out and I'll fill it in. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, that is just so funny. But, hey, the good thing, I know people without no eyebrows that do um, the pencil and stuff like that. <laughs> just thank God it wasn't me, huh? <laughs> Almost don't even have none. Oh, Lord. Yep, just get the pencil out and we're going to have to pencil it. You better hope to God it grows back before school. <laughs> it ain't. They grow really slow. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> and I don't have primer on, guys. You know how I am about primer. But. Um, what do I do? I need to know what to do. Take a pencil. Oh, and you know what? I should have. Well, that would help, wouldn't it, if I took that off? Okay, well, do I cut the other one? Um, there, like, you cannot okay, fix this so, at all. I am going to let y'all know my face is extremely sensitive, and I thought that's I don't know if it's from the brush doing this or not, but my skin does not feel too good Mom. right now. It feels like it's burning, so I don't know, because I don't usually spend $4 for makeup, but I like cheap makeup, but I always, uh, always use a little bit about 10 or $9 makeup. But it's okay. And I always do my nose area too. But I couldn't find different colors as in darker shades. It was what it was. Man. And I don't do concealer. So I told y'all I don't do concealer. But the, I'm doing it for y'all. I do like the um, Tarte. Is it the tart? I will the like tart. a stick, like a, a limpo. Look at this. Oh, man. Mom, what am I going to do? You take a pencil. Every single day? Uh, yeah, until it grows back. And then I was going to show y'all the lip color, even though I don't like the way it feels on my lips. Um... I guess you can get like a pretty um, lip liner color, but it plumps your lips to make them look bigger. I call it an illusion lip. 
you know how you can make your lips look bigger with lip liner illusion so I've been asking a lot of people lately if they like my videos there's never comments or nothing like that and so I mean I've really been asking people when I say I've been really asking people like popular people like people that know Scott Barnes that does JLo's makeup Urban Decay they got in contact with me today I was doing a dance in the store. Where's pomade at? It's in there. But, huh? this is my dream. Like, I went to cosmetology school twice. And I went there because I thought in my mind that you have to have your license to do makeup for models and stuff. And honestly, that's always been a dream of mine to do makeup for models. I even had my sister-in-law one morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. She wanted me to do her makeup and I did her makeup at 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't care what time it is. If you want to do makeup, let's do makeup. Um, I love makeup. and um, But I definitely wanted answers from these people. And I got them. And I am so thrilled and I feel so blessed. Only because it means so much to me and it felt so good to screenshot that message and send it to my husband from Urban Decay only because I love Urban Decay so much um, I can't always afford their makeup but I love Urban Decay I can't find it um, okay I'll get it but you can tell that this is just a nude lip so if you like going to the beach or something I wouldn't suggest standing in the direct sun, which, when I'm talking about sun, this has SPF 40 on it. I don't know if you can see it. It has SPF 40. So, it has SPF. Does this have SPF? I love stuff with SPF in it. So, if the direct sun's on you, you're really not getting burnt. Um, let's see. I don't see where there's no SPF because I think it would say right here. But I love it. And I was even going to get setting sprays today. Um, but I think that was a little too much for what they were. They were like $14.99 or something like that. And I was looking at when I went to Ulta the other day. I think it was Tuesday when I did my tutorial or whatever. Um, I was going to grab the MAC setting spray. It was a little thing. I think it's like $14, $15. But hold on. Let me get the eyebrow stuff for her. I found this. Okay. <clears throat> so. Man. Is there like some cream you could like put on to grow your eyebrows? I don't know. <laughs> Where did you mess up at? Everywhere. Oh, right there. Okay. So. How long do they go? Huh? It takes probably about three days. Okay. Is that better? Uh, no. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> no. It does look better, y'all. Please tell me if this looks better. Stop. That's the one I just did. No. Yeah. It look, it's like that. I don't like it. She don't like nothing I do. That's why. She's not a good model. Because <laughs> she don't like my ways I'll just of doing it. it. She's going she gonna to walk around looking goofy, huh? Okay. So be it. No, I just wear a headband all day. <laughs> you wear a hairband on your eyebrows? A okay. jacket or put my hair by it. Okay. Well, these work. So, but. Is it that bad? It's not that bad, but it's funny. <laughs> but 
Anyways, um, this is a tutorial in my, um, little haul with small. <laughs> and I'm not happy about it at all. Um, it makes me sad. Oh, and it says there's 30 in a pack. Each pack is 30. So, that's good. Um, but yeah, um, I like shopping at low discount stores. I love shopping at Ulta. Um, I like shopping different sales and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, um, and then Haley's little friends follow me too. Thank you. Because I know y'all like it. I know one of her friends like it. What's her name, Haley? What's her name? Haley or... Tell them to follow your Instagram. I did. I've told y'all. Follow my Instagram, please. And it's um under Nicole um, Burnett, Burnett yeah, or Miss Burnett. Too. Yeah, she's going to look it up and then show y'all yeah, real quick. Sure. But, um, follow me, follow me, follow me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Tomorrow, I am going to go to TJ Maxx okay. and get this the is stuff. Like it. Hopefully, it's still there. It looks like this. Tap your camera. There you go. There you go. There you go. Alright, Instagram. So, but anyways, I hope y'all do like this video, but, um, I think that's all I have to say for today, but I'm going to start being like, Ellen, be kind to one another, because it really makes me upset that people are just so rude and nasty. Just because you work at Ulta, you ain't nobody. Just because you do anything in the industry with makeup, you're still not nobody. And, um, especially to make somebody feel so low. Like, there's just no reason to talk to somebody like that. And then I like their reaction when I go, I know I used to work here. It shuts them up real quick. Um, because if you get nasty with me, I'll get nasty with you back. Um, and also... If you're like a new mother or something and you don't have time to do makeup, um, the bouncy seats are great. Um, cause I know when my daughter was little and my son was little, um, which they're Haley's 13 and Hunter is 10. But, um, I know that the bouncy seat came in handy cause I didn't always have somebody to hold my kids while I did makeup. Um... And also, you know, even if you want to feel pretty for a day, $4 makeup's great to go get. Um, and as it sits on my skin, it's kind of a sticky feel. I like the heavy feel of full coverage. I, was, I also like the matte finish. The ones that dry fast, the foundations that dry fast. But I like this because I can wear it tomorrow. I can wear it any day I want to. And it was $4. And the concealer is great too. Even if you want to wear concealer as foundation. Because I know people that sunned that before. That ran out of foundation and wore um, concealer for the day. Um, just like that Tarte concealer. That real nice Tarte concealer. People wear that as foundation. Um... So, I think, you know, there's no reason not to never wear makeup. A lot of people don't like the way it feels, and that's where Bare Minerals and the Mineral Powder, or even the Fit Me Powder comes in at. Um, but anyways, I hope y'all have a good night, and that's this video. Bye.